Hendersonville, Tennessee, a hub for high school sports from teams like Station Camp, to HHS, to HCA, back to Beach, and topping it off with the new with the new Division II state hockey team champion, JP2 Knights. However, the Knights were not always bound for the cup. Their season began rough, but in the end, they were able to pull through and emerge champions. Um, it was it was tough. Uh, we started out in tier one, and it was it was a little bit above our level. We we fought hard. We stayed in it, but just. Unluckily, we, we couldn't stay up at the top. The Knights began their season with an injured starting goalie and a losing record. From there on, they would need the leadership of their seniors to get them to the playoffs. Basically, it was fun being the seniors because as freshmen, we had some a really great senior class, and we, we got to be like them and, and hold a high standard, which some of us kept. The seniors were not the only ones tasked with leading the team. The captains were also put under excessive amounts of pressure. Uh, well, I knew we had to get everyone uh, kind of prepared for the game, mentally and physically. It's kind of the hardest part, trying to get prepared yourself and trying to prepare others for the game. Um, I think it took a, a lot of heart and drive. I mean, um, basically we, we worked really hard. and. Um, I mean, we weren't going to make it to the very top, so we had to start looking forward for what we could do. And so uh, us losing to Mount Juliet, Mount Juliet uh, getting knocked down to um, a lower division, uh, we knew it's going to be a little bit slower, but we want to still bring our higher division um, hockey to, um, uh, to the lower division. Aside from the seniors, freshmen were also put to the test. Well, it kind of all starts here with this year for us. It's our building base. From here, we grow on. We're losing a strong senior class, so you know, lower class, they got to step it up and place them. Due to their poor regular season record, the Knights were bumped down to Tier 2 hockey for the playoffs, giving them the perfect opportunity to win a championship. It was rough being kicked down to the, the lower tier, but. I mean, it gave us an opportunity, an opportunity to win that one, so I figured I might as well take the opportunity that's given to me, so, you know, I went for it, and uh, we came away with the win. And yet, despite their troubles, the Knights were able to remain bonded and brothers. You know, it was, it was, uh, it was quite a memorable, memorable experience because I've been playing with these seniors for three years straight, you know. And, uh, you know, last night, the championship game, it was really something special to be with those guys one last time. Uh, well, this year was especially, um, I don't mean to be competitive, but special to me because knowing that this was my last season, um, you know, every game was either going to be a heartbreak or a victory, so. You know, when we beat Father Ryan and uh, HHS for the senior night, and that one good day, uh, you know, it was really impressive. And it, I think it brought us more together with brothers, more than teammates. And I made it really special to be the manager this year. That's all I have to say about that. And although focus was on the ice, the Knights never feared stopping to have a little bit of fun. The hockey here, as demonstrated by uh, Mullet Man, uh, see, see here we've got we've got uh, business in the front. You see, it's all business like. It's it's not messy here. And then party in the back. That's basically our motto for the hockey team: uh, business in the front and party in the back. Normally, we like to get a, a, a designs in here, like little little pinstripes, little pinstripes right there. And uh, basically, you know, you just, you just let your hair do, do whatever you want. It's your hair. It's hockey. When the time for the game came, the pressure was on and the stakes were high. Uh, 
Um, it was a little tense at the beginning because like we didn't score in the first period and they didn't score in the first period. Um, and then when Kelly got the first goal, then it just made it a whole lot easier. Like this big weight had been lifted, but we still had to like try our hardest. I guess. I agree with that. It was kind of tense on the bench the whole time until we scored, and then we all got really hyped, especially after the third goal. That was everyone was feeling alive. Um, nothing was really going through my head. I was more focused on kind of trying to to let the defense know where the people were coming on to them. Just basically just try to keep the puck out of the net. I don't really think during hockey games it'll mess up your game if you think too much. So I was just trying to do my job. I knew that this game was going to be special, and first entering that locker room, I knew this was going to be the last time I ever got to be with these guys in a hockey game, so when they all got on the ice, I knew this game was going to be special, and after winning it, I mean, walking out of that locker room, it was, it was really special, and it's just, it's hard to describe the person, but uh, I'm sure if you were there, you would be, but you know, it was really special for me, and holding that cup together as a team, and just, Realizing that we accomplished our mission and got the championship, that was just really special for us in the seniors. So I was extremely nervous. I was shaking all over. The adrenaline rush was pretty high, but uh, Coach calmed me down and told me what I had to do. Well, I mean, we had to give it all as our last game, so knowing that, we wanted to win. Very nerve-wracking because we weren't scoring at first, so kind of put pressure on the team. Through hard work and commitment, a team of misplaced hockey players in another league became champions in a division where they belonged. No one expected them to win. No one said they could do it and no one looked at the JP2 Knights and said they're going to win the cup. Thus, through a tough season and against the odds, the Knights emerged champions, making them the Cinderella story of Hendersonville.